Hey everybody, welcome back. Crazy Grandma here. Let's do another layout. This is not school related. I've just finished up a series that's school related and I'm so happy I got all eight of those layouts done. So now I'm going to do another one. This is one of those that I was working on getting together for a long time and I just couldn't get my mind wrapped around the way I wanted it to look. So I sit down one day this past week and decided I wasn't going to do anything else until I figured out this layout and then uh, one other layout that I had been working on that I wanted to get done for a long time. So that's what I did and I'm super proud of myself that I did it because it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be a lot of color but then it gets for a child so all right, so the paper I'm using is Play All Day Boy from uh, Echo Park. If it's available, I will link it down below. I have a lot of different stickers that I picked up out of one of the Echo Park sticker books, and I will link it below but if it's available still. And I'm using uh, a page maps uh, sketch don't know from what day it's recent fairly recently so I will look for that and link that for you down below as well and this is the picture that I'm going to be using this is the twin boys <laughs> let me see 2019 and this is my daughter one of my daughter's favorite picture for boys so we're going to do this layout today this is the Echo Park paper that I'm going to be using lots of fun colors and the back of it is is this I think this is going to be fun so I have chose some fun colors like I said it's going to pop and I purposely made this paper by the way these are 8 by 8 papers that I'm using because I want to start using my 6 by 6 and 8 by 8 papers as well as my scraps up so I pulled all of these that I'm using all of this for from my 8x8 papers. So because this paper I cut it to be this direction, I cut this so the stripes look like they're this direction. Generally uh, not a lot of people like putting um, stripes together but to me this looks different enough that it's it looks it looks good together. And I just have to figure out how I'm gonna do this Oh, I want to do the. I don't want it. What well, I say? How do I want to put it in here? Is what I'm trying to say. Two of them's going to be together, close, pretty close together, and I just got to figure out which one I want. So I think I'm going to do it that way. The colors look great together, and I do have them on the uh, back of a white, which is a tad bit of a border on the end around it, because I just think it makes the colors pop a little bit. And when I put these down, I am going to put them down to where they're um, raised just a little bit so I can do some tucking. And then my picture I'm going to put on just the back of a green. Again, this came from an 8x8 paper, and I'm going to put that like that. So let me get these down on here. And then we will go from there. If I can find my scissors. I am going to have to, one day this week, stop and clean my room because it's getting to where I'm moving piles around. And that just doesn't work for me. <laughs> They're organized piles, though, if that helps anything. But, but that's okay. But I want to get these two layouts done. And then next week, my sole purpose is to get heritage pages done. If I don't get anything else done, if I don't get things organized, cleaned, or anything else, heritage pages will get done. Because I am just procrastinating on it too much. You know, changing the layout, changing if I want to put this. That is not going to get that information shared with anybody. So, 
we are going to get it done next week. So you guys stick around and uh, join me for that. I have an extensive uh, research that I've done on our genealogy and I've still got quite a bit to do. I've done a lot more work on my husband's side than I have my side, but that is something that I'm working on because I do want I do want the, the grandkids and the kids and everybody I don't think that's straight to know you know where they're from and you know that kind of thing so I am going to be doing the heritage pieces next week so my sister called me just a little bit ago and got some bad news on a biopsy that she had so prayers to her that she stays calm and the doctors work and get her through what she needs to get through. So I have a lot of these Echo Park uh, sticker books. I got them for boys and girls and Disney. I, I bought the Disney one even though I don't do a lot of Disney pages. I've never been. It's on a list, but not like at the top of the list. And um, But there's a lot of things about it you can use. And I did have uh, one set of my grandkids. A couple of my grandkids have gone. And like I said, I did order the Echo Park box. So I'm looking forward to coming in. I mean, I'm interested to see if I'm going to get any repeats that I already have and what's in there because that's how sometimes I come up with new products that um, I want to use that, like, I haven't bought enamel dots, but I've gotten a, a little bit of a collection from when I buy those kits. So that's how I've started using those. So I'm excited to see if there's going to be anything else in there that I'd like to use. It's feeding time on my front porch. There's tons of birds starting to come around. Okay, so that's how I'm going to put that. And I'm going to go ahead and put my picture on. But I want to make sure I keep this date so I don't have to look it up again. So I'm going to write that down so I won't. Speaking of dates, I have a ton of pictures that I want to look at and find the dates for. Let's see, so this is 622.19. So I'm going to put that aside so I won't forget. Oh, that's five years ago. Gee, mini cricket. All right, so let me put this down here. Then we're going to start accessorizing this thing. These boys are typical boys, and they like <laughs> they like a lot of stuff. Matter of fact, they're going to be at football practice tonight. Okay, so I'm going to get my. Thing. Okay, let's get some more stuff done on this page. I had to take a quick break because I was fighting with my title, so I redid it. Just had those days. You know, just some of those days. So I have my, my title, it's going to be Cherished Memories, and I say, please tell me I didn't lose that again. My Boys is going to be up there, but I'm going to start, I'm going to put this down, I quit moving things around, I'd get things done quicker, 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 anyway. And let me put some adhesive on the back of this thing here and let's get this get this completed. So I hope you guys are getting some layouts done. Are you struggling with anything particular? I think we all have certain things we struggle with or days that we struggle. Today's definitely been one that I've been struggling with things working 
my way, but I'm not going to let it get to me. You just got to be more stubborn than the, the things that are <laughs> happening around you. I don't know why, but my family keeps telling me that I am the most stubborn person in the family. I don't get that. I don't, I don't get that. But anyway. So then I'm going to put a bicycle that I found here. Like I said, these are typical little boys and they do love riding bikes and playing sports and so I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna put my boys sign here. On top of that. like that. That's adorable. I do know if I want to move this up just a little bit. Let it go. Even though it covers up a little bit of that title, you can still read it, but it just makes it pop a little better. There we go. I like that. I'll have some pictures of this at the end. So I have a toy box that I'm going to put down here in the corner. And then I am going to put some different things over. Oh, you know what? Let me put this one here on first. This is as you are my very best friend because that's what these two boys are. They're really good friends. Of course, they argue like any brothers and sisters do. And then I'm going to put some things around here. Let me see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the football and the baseball, I think, over here. Actually, I'm going to change that because I do want it over here because the, the football and stuff that I have is blue. And the baseball bat is blue. And I don't want it too close to that blue, so I'm going to... put them like that I think and I have a little baseball hat that I'm going to put right up here on the top like you're hanging it on top of that sign and then I have some Legos I'm not sure if I need anything on that side but I have a red and a and a yellow Lego you still see that that's a football you know what I just found I have another my boy sign right here and I think I'll see if it looks better. Let's turn this around here. Yeah, I do think I'll, that shows up better. That's cute. I'm not sure about the baseball bat though. Some reason the baseball bat just seems to be trying to cause me issues because it just doesn't seem to to want to fit right or something. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit. Oh, the cap does look better. It look good down there. This is why I use that kind of that raised tape thing because you can move it around just a little bit anyway. But I can't tell that that's a cap right there though. So I'm just going to play and see where I like it. Maybe underneath the football. Everything's making the football, I'm making the hat look really huge. And it's not any bigger than anything else, but I'm gonna try tucking it just a little bit and see if that helps. Well, that's cute. I do like that better. Let's see where else I want to put. 
We do have these, but I'm not going to use that because that's going to be a little bit too much print. This just says smile, so I'm going to put it over here. And then see where I want to put my then that goes. Let go my it goes. I'm not gonna I don't want that to line up. I'm just gonna kinda I do have this football and helmet. I wonder if that blue helmet just not gonna I mean that blue football. Maybe it's just causing issues. Well, that looks good. I like that better. And let me put my Legos back down. Do I need anything else on here? Or are we going to call this enough? I like it. The only thing is, is I'm not sure if my my title needs to have something around it a little more, you know, to give a little bit more color. I'm wondering if that would help. I put it on white because I kept trying to cut it out in black and it just kept giving me problems and it didn't want to go on there right and it couldn't cut right so I decided I didn't need it anyway maybe if I do the green I have another piece of green here and then I can just cut around it and make it pop a little bit better I used to be really nervous about taking some of these things up and then picked, uh, putting them down, picking them up, taking them down. But then I decided I don't like it the way it is, so I'm going to have to do something. So I just started doing it, and I found out most of the time it works. If not, it's just an embellishing opportunity. I try not to worry about too many things. When I'm scrapbooking, I just try to just go with the flow trust my gut I've been scrapbooking for a very long time and I don't want too much of that color showing I just want just a little bit of it showing I'm sorry I hit that camera hit that I'm sorry about that, guys. And that, to me, I think that just gives it just a little bit of something to get, to get it away from the, all that pattern that's underneath it. I have a lot of patterned paper, and there's some days and some pictures that I, I get scared of using the patterned paper. But I find once I do, that I like the way it looks. So I've got to where I make myself use it a little more often. See, that does look, it looks better. I'm not going to put that up on with, um, with more that raised tape. I'm just going to pick that back up, though. Let's see if that looks a little better. I think I need to cut a little bit more of this down. Like I said, I don't need a lot of that color showing. I just want just a little bit of it to make that pop a little bit more. Yeah, that makes it look much, much better. But I'm not seeing this my boys as well. And the bicycle is not popping as much as I would like. So I'm going to try it. I like that. That's good. I am going to slide this down just a tad. That does look better. I'm happy with that now. 
we're going to go with that. I am going to have to glue this down a little bit. Because like I said, when I take these things and I put them in my notebook, or I put them in my, in my, my bin to get ready to scrapbook, I do take a lot of that adhesive off so that I can play with it without it sticking so much. Guys, that looks amazing. I'm happy with it. I'll have pictures at the end. Get yourself a scrapbook paper out. Don't criticize yourself, and let's get some layout stuff for these babies. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.